Hello friends and welcome to our final episode of Fairy Tale Steam, where we talk about a different fairy tale each week and issue an engineering challenge based on that fairy tale. I hope that you've had fun with the challenges so far and that you've put your brain to work and come up with some really creative solutions for our fairy tale characters. This last week's challenge is based on a nursery rhyme actually instead of a fairy tale, but I'm sure you all are familiar with Humpty Dumpty. The nursery rhyme goes like this. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Now, in the stories, Humpty Dumpty is an egg, usually, and he's sitting on top of this wall for whatever reason, and when he falls, he cracks. Now there are other verses to the nursery rhyme, but when you end on that one, it sounds kind of sad. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. The story that I want to share with you about Humpty Dumpty today is one of my favorite picture books. It's called After the Fall, How Humpty Dumpty Got Back Up Again, written and illustrated by Dan Santat, who is one of my favorite authors and illustrators. This story, as the title suggests, looks at Humpty Dumpty's life after he falls off the wall. And as you can imagine, something terrible like that made him really scared to go back up on the wall because he was afraid he would fall and get hurt again. But as the story progresses, Humpty learns to confront his fears. And it's a great story of triumph over something that you're afraid of. I highly, highly recommend it. This week's engineering challenge for you is to come up with a way to cushion Humpty Dumpty's fall so that he doesn't crack when he falls off the wall. Now the first thing you're going to need is a wall, obviously. Luckily for me, we have several brick walls out in our children's amphitheater. Now I'm going to be honest with you. The first few times that I pushed Humpty Dumpty off the wall, he did not crack. So I had to keep trying taller and taller and taller walls for my experiment. And you might have to do that too. You might have to do some experimenting with the height of your wall before you can even get started on the materials to cushion the fall. So it's important to make sure that Humpty will crack first when he falls off your wall. So you have to do it without anything to cushion him. For my Humpty Dumpty, I used a plastic shaker egg because we have so many of those here at the library. And I filled it full of magic beans to give it the weight of a real egg, like the kind you would eat. You might choose to use a real egg and that's okay. You can either hard boil it or if your family's okay with making a huge mess, you can use raw eggs too for your test. I chose four different materials to test for Humpty Dumpty's cushion. You can do as many as you want, but I would suggest doing at least two or three so you can see the differences. I used some cotton fluff, some Easter grass, some water, and a bowl full of magic beans. Now, I used very shallow bowls at first, and some of the materials cushioned Humpty Dumpty's fall, but then they bounced him right out of the shallow bowl. So I also experimented with deeper containers too, to see if Humpty would stay safely in the container and not land on the stone ground. For my experiment, I think the magic beans were probably the least traumatic way to cushion Humpty's fall because they sort of gave way and displaced, which means that some of the beans were flung out of the bowl when Humpty hit them, but it made room for him to land and it didn't bounce him out of the bowl. So that was pretty cool. I think he probably liked that one best. It wasn't messy like the water either, which got him soaked. So that is your final challenge. First, you need your wall. Then you need something to stand in for Humpty Dumpty, something preferably that would crack and give you an idea of how your cushion is working. And then you need materials for your cushion, at least two or three different ones that you can test. You'll probably also want to put them into containers and you might want to experiment with the depth of the containers like I did as well. You can do whatever you want with it. You can test as many materials as you want to. If you don't want to limit yourself to two or three, go ahead, test more. And remember those open-ended questions that we talked about last week, families? 
I'm going to put those up right now to refresh your memory and help you help your child work through this process. Remember that open-ended questions don't require a yes or no answer. They allow children to think through what they're doing and explain their reasoning, which helps them learn and problem solve. And don't forget to take pictures and videos of your experiment as you work through it and share them with us by either emailing them to us at summerreading at jcpl.org or sending them to us on Facebook and Instagram at Johnson City Public Library. Thank you so much for all your participation with Fairy Tale STEAM and with the rest of our summer reading program this summer. It's full steam ahead on this week's challenge, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.